What is happening, everyone? It's me, Troy, and I'm here to do something that I've wanted to do all year long. Something that I've waited for deep within my heart and my souls of souls for it to come out. And that is share Eternal Sailor Moon SH figure. Uh, I got my receipt right here. I finally got it. So, yeah, this came out this year. It was in Japan earlier this year. I can't remember. I think around May. And then it released in the U.S. around, actually, last week on the 17th, I believe, of November. But I just got mine this week, this past weekend. But, yes, she is finally out. And I'm here to share my thoughts. I waited a day, but I'm here to unbox Eternal Sailor Moose. SH figurine. I was going to order it off eBay early this year from Japan. And I was just like, eh, yeah, yeah. I waited, I waited, I waited. And then it's like, well, I'll go ahead and get her now because I have to have her. So here we are. I just, you know. Oh, the tray. If you are interested in this tray, it is in my Society 6 store. But I needed some stability here. And I'll put a link to the tray down below. But yeah, here's the box. Eternal Sailor Moon. Oh my freaking word. I'm so just like, I never would have thought she would have came out. Like, honestly, never. But I'm glad that she has. And so, let's go ahead and unbox this sister girl. Eternal. Dun, 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 dun. Etern Eternal. Oh, dang, this thing got layers to it. Look at this. Wow. Wowzer, 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 bowsers. This mug got layers to it. Now, I'm trying to figure out, is the tier? It's called a tier, right? A tier. If it has, um, if, if it extend. Some of the accessories, she's missing, like, if it's based off the anime, She's not, she does, she's missing a couple of things, but we'll try to, we'll try to go for it from here anyway. So let's unbox my girl here. I'm already loving how her hair has a translucent look to it to give her much more of the ethereal, eternal feel. I know this thing is making a whole bunch of noise. This is not no ASMR video. No, whatsoever. All this scraping and scrapping and scripping and, sc and shrimp baskets. Okay, hold on. Jeez. There we go. Oh my god, I already love her. You have to be so delicate with these things. Look at this. Look at her. Okay. She got some. Things going on with her skirt. Like this thing right here is almost like you can't even do anything with this thing because it's so fragile feeling. Like I'm scared to take the plastic off the back. Wait a minute, let me like pay attention to this. Like, look at this. I don't know what to do with this. Oh my god, wait a minute. Oh, this is so scary to me. Okay, here it is. Na, 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 na. Eternal. Eternal. Child, I'm almost tempted to put her back in the box and just let her sit in the box. But anyway, obviously this is the back side of her. There is that pearlescent um, finish on the wings as well as the boots. And on her gloves. This it's generally, um, I'm trying to lift her arm up on the opposite side here. As you can see, like, let me see, well, I can't show it on the box because the box is pretty much the same thing, but the little wing tips or whatnot that are on her gloves, the hem of her gloves are generally on the outside portion of the gloves. So this is kind of, I'm trying to work around this. I don't know what I'm. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Seems a little different. She's very cute, though. I really think she's very cute. But it's just so... You know, Eternal Sailor Moon already have so many moving parts to her overall 
um, fuka or outfit that is just like, I wouldn't dare want to even mess with it. Honestly, I feel like I'm just going to break something, but there's a skirt, the little pleats and the layers to it. And it looks like she still has the, uh, the skin tone similar to her, um, animated edition release, which is good. Cause I like those more, but there's the dangos, the buns, there's the little extra long ribbon here. She's nice. She's very nice looking. I got to figure out what to do with these hands though. The arms, there's a little, I don't know what's going on with them. <laughs> I can't figure the arms out right now. But she's just going to pose on the shelf and we'll probably probably just leave her be. Um, obviously, we'll set her down for a minute and then take a look at her accessories. Which I think are also taped down. And, and if they're not, I'm scared to bust this thing open because it's going to shatter. You know, stuff is going to be flying everywhere. This is bad. Oh, careful. 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 Ooh. I'm telling you, baby, once she get on the shelf, I am not touching anything. Else. Uh, like, nothing. Like, not a thing. See, this is my main... Well, we'll show the faces first. So, obviously, she has her... Attack face, a cheerful face, and a, I guess you could say a ginning up with an attack face, or determined face. Uh, the tear, I hope I'm not saying that wrong. I keep, see what I was hoping for was that she had the, there's two, two different forms of this. And I was hoping that this would also extend out as it does in the manga and anime, but it doesn't. It's just that first stage. Then she has the one hand for the gripping, then several little hands as is, as they generally come. And here's the stand, which is nice and clear and crisp. As long as you can be careful here, hold on. <laughs> There's the pole extend and the hold she doesn't really come with much i'm kind of shocked honestly i'm kind of a little shocked she don't need a lot anyway i guess but surprisingly she doesn't come with a lot so we're gonna snap that here and you know the grip is right up at the top this kind of got like a spider appendage look to it and then there we go. So I'm going to just kind of put her in here as is and see how crazy this is. Like, this is bananas. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know if I could do anything with this girl. Look at this mess. That's okay. Well, eternal. That's yeah. That's her eternal pose right there. Look, this is basically choking her. I don't I don't too much like that, but. It's hoping it. we'll figure that out later. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm glad that I have her. Um, I think she's wonderful, though. I just wish she came with more accessories. I feel like there should have just been a lot, a couple of some. It's just missing a few. But the details in her is just great. It's cute as always. One of the things that kind of annoys me about these figurines is like the noses. They always have this like blue tinge to them. I don't understand. It's like a little dirty blue tinge to them. So mm, that just is what it is. I, it's just a small minor um, piece of tedium when it comes to collecting these, to these toys or figurines. But her dangles are pretty solid looking. I love the gradient from like a solid color all the way to almost trans well to translucent on the tips once again uh, pulling on that eternal <laughs> eternal and ethereal look details all around they got the details all together which i really do enjoy and appreciate because these things you know 
it's easy to be sloppy with stuff like this but she's solid i like her still still trying to figure out this right here still trying to figure this out one another thing i wish today would these um would do say like how you can see the the joint inside connecting her arm her arm and shoulder I wish that they would just paint that the same color as like the sleeve here. Just I wish that was just pink. Um, some of the other toys like I can't show them, but like their sleeves, the outer edge will have like a coloring, uh, you know, attributed to their uniform, traditionally speaking. But the inside of the joint is always clear of that. And I wish that they would just kind of paint, you know, they probably just, they probably tried that and that didn't work out as well. But here she is. I'm almost afraid to remove her face. Yeah, this is this is scary stuff to me. Like this is legit scary stuff. I got some um, glue in case some issues come about, and I can already see like the joint in her chin here. So I might just leave Home Girl the way she is because this is freaking. scary scary stuff to deal with like legit like i'm dead serious like i don't want to bother her too much but yeah i finally got eternal sailor moon i'm hoping that they will do the starlights and um that would be that would be great so we'll put her on the shelf and i'll cut to her being on the shelf and what uh, who i've all collected since then so yeah let's go ahead and do something with this girl. So we'll check back in one second. <laughs> 